The new Census Platform Threat Hunting Module provides unmatched visibility into attacker infrastructure, enabling proactive detection, faster investigations, and more accurate detection of known and unknown threats. The Threat Hunting Module in the platform is powered by the Census Internet Map, the industry standard for Internet intelligence. It enables you to keep ahead of cyber threats as they evolve over time. The global threat map shows the geographic distribution of threat infrastructure that Census is tracking. You can filter your view by threat types, threat names, and threat groups to find the threat infrastructure that matters the most to you. For example, you can target C2 servers associated with the Mustang Panda group using the quick filters on the dashboard. Additional information about threat types is provided below the map. Threat detail cards describe each threat and feature a visual plotline of the number of hosts and web properties associated with the threat over time. Use the search bar to search across all threats. Select a threat details card to see more information about it, including the detailed timeline of internet assets associated with the threat, broken down by hosts and web properties, a description of the malware, how it is used, and related links. Further information about associated campaigns and actors is provided on this page. At the top of the Threat Details page, you can create a collection for the threat to track changes and receive webhook alerts about new infrastructure affiliated with the threat. On a Threat Details page, click View All Threat Assets to see all web assets associated with the threat. Back on the Threat Map, you can use the filters to create a targeted query. Click the number next to a country to see all internet assets associated with the threat criteria you have configured. You can quickly create a collection to track changes and receive alerts about this group of threat infrastructure, empowering you to keep IP block lists up to date, just as one example of how to use this data. Select a result to view more information about it. Services that are associated with the threat are indicated by a bug icon. You can ensure that your investigations are using the freshest data by initiating a rescan of the service to determine whether the threat is still present. For some investigations, you need real-time insights, and live discovery enables you to run on-demand scans on a particular port. This is useful if you have observed a particular port being used for malicious purposes in the past. You can use Sensei to find field value pairs, such as certificate fingerprints, JARM fingerprints, or other data that is potentially associated with other suspicious assets. You can then run a report on these results to aggregate values of interest. For example, you can generate a report on the ports being used by the services associated with this field value pair. Check the filter box to only show service ports on hosts that are explicitly matching this query. Use this report to find new assets of interest to pivot to, for example, hosts using an unusual port number. You can also use the threat hunting module to examine certificate history. While a particular certificate may only currently be in use by one or a small number of hosts, its historical usage can help you uncover related infrastructure and assist with incident response. Click the Timeline tab on a Certificate Details page to see the hosts and web properties that that certificate has been used on in the past. Click a bar plot for an asset to see additional information about that asset at that point in time, including other field value pairs of interest as well as threats. The Threat Hunting module is available on the Census platform. Visit census.com to learn more.